Miss Justine, another Blackpool resident, was reported missing today in a case that continues to baffle local authorities. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Uh, hi, I'm Tara Sands, and I'm here on the scene of Mystery Case Files Escape from Ravenhurst. I'm hoping to get a scoop from one of the locals who can tell us a little bit about what's going on here. But I, I seem to have lost my way, and I'm stuck here on the outskirts of, of town. I can't get past the gate. So I, I'm going to get you guys an interview, but for now, I'm going to send you back to Marisha Ray in Studio CG. Love me some Ravenhurst. All right, everybody, welcome to Studio CG. I am Marisha Ray, and you might know me for having the record longest shot put throw of an iPod while simultaneously playing Angry Birds. And I'm Jason Johnson, founder of CasualGameGuides.com. Today we are going to be covering Mystery Case Files, Escape from Ravenhurst, which is the eighth Mystery Case Files game that they've come out with, and the third installment in the Ravenhurst saga. And uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, it's a point-and-click adventure game with a lot of hidden object puzzles, and you play a master detective that is investigating the disappearances in a town called Blackpool, England. Mm. So I would love to hear your opinions on it, because I know you have them. But first, before we do that, I want to take it over to Tara, because she has some interviews lined up. <coughs> All right, Tara. Hi, Marisha. I'm here in the <coughs> cold rain. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to get past the, uh, the gate, but... The, I can't find the key. It's under some rock. I, I, the intercom doesn't work. The car won't start. Uh, and this friggin' raven won't shut up. So uh, I'm going to just keep on pushing away here. Uh, these objects, they just keep changing. I think I have one, and then it becomes something else. So I, uh, if I'm going to get you guys an exclusive interview if it kills me. <laughs> Couldn't we just cover Pac-Man? All right. Tara, everybody. Uh, what did you think of the game? This is an excellent game. It's a cut above the rest, I'd say, in this whole genre of point-and-click hidden object adventure. Yeah, I loved the live-action elements that they put into it. That's something I've personally Definitely. never seen before. It's funny because when I was downloading the game and installing it, I realized it was like taking forever, and then that whole opening sequence played, and I was like, oh, I was downloading why. a short film. That's right. Yes. That's right. And so, I, I also noticed they incorporated a lot of the live-action elements throughout the game as well. well. Yeah, there's that scene where you have the water in the tubes right. and the ghosts get trapped inside there. I actually got a note from Big Fish about that. Oh. They took the actors down to a swimming pool in Seattle and they put them underwater and they filmed them basically drowning. So, I mean, to me that shows real commitment that you would deprive a developing brain oxygen for that long so you could get that scene. Yeah, those right. bubbles coming out of the nose, that's not CG, I don't know. I, I also loved one of my favorite things is apparently, I guess your character is just this, this weakling. <laughs> like your character's excuse is always like, oh, even on my best day, I couldn't lift that. <laughs> and you're like, it's a rock, bro. <laughs> it's a rock. And there, there's this whole section where you drop, you accidentally fumble and you drop a key and it kind of falls in between some rock and your character is just like, well, I don't know what we're going to do now. And it takes you a hundred more steps to figure yes. out how to get the key out yes. of the rocks, right? And you're exactly. like, really? Just pick up the rock. Uh, another thing that I liked about this game, and I think it's important, is I was often in touch with my motivation as to why I was doing something. So, for instance, I knew I, was, I had a motivation to turn on the lighthouse. Right. I had a motivation to get the shovel off the cliff. You're like, ooh! <laughs> oh, I need that shovel. Yes. As opposed to, right, but find six random gems that all match the zodiac. Yes. Right, now, know. this to me is an important distinction because in a lot of these types of point and click adventure games, you know what you're doing. Like, I, I know I'm supposed to go get these gems, but you right. don't know why. Why, yeah. In this game, you may not know what the hell you're doing. Right. <laughs> like, I'm going to stick the sock in the glove compartment. Yeah. or I'm gonna. But you know why. You're, right. try, you're trying to get the car started. You're trying to get the gate open. Right. And to me, that's a really important distinction. And I think, again, why this game separates itself from other games. Now, what I'm curious about is that cup of tea. Oh, my gosh. Don't even get me started on the cup what? of tea. So, for those of you who don't know, when you start the game, you open the glove compartment and conveniently unspilled neat and tidy yeah. on there the is saucer a, there on the saucer yeah there is a cup of tea yeah now again 
I attempted to contact Big Fish because <laughs> I thought for sure there would be an inside joke, a story here, something great that we could tell you as to why there would be a cup of tea in the glove compartment of the car. And you know what they said? What? No reason. I, I don't I don't believe that. Another funny thing about this game was the kind of the item placement. Like in the beginning, <laughs> you break the lamp, the lamp falls, and what do you know? There's a can opener in there. I of know. Of course. That's where I keep all my can openers. Well, in the lamp. In the lamps. Uh, I'm actually, I hear Tara, I think, finally found somebody to interview. Okay. So we're going to try this again. All right. And uh, let's, let's see what you found. Tara, how are you doing? Hi, I'm back, and we are so lucky because I have located the ghost of Emma Ravenhurst. We're gonna get an exclusive interview now. Uh, Emma, do you have a few moments to talk with us? Detective, you should not have returned. It's not safe for you here. Okay, um, I don't know what that means. But uh, anyway, uh, so I noticed a lot of the objects here. They keep just uh, shifting around and changing. Uh, do you have anything to do with that? Unfortunately, altering the appearance of objects in the world of the living is the only way for us to offer physical support. I mean, let's, let's delve into your personal life a little bit, shall we? Now, you have been linked to some very famous ghosts. Uh, who, who are you dating these days? My soul is now free, but I fear that you are in great danger. Okay, so you don't want to talk about it? I understand. It's personal. <laughs> uh, what do you guys do here for fun in Blackpool? <laughs> you should not have returned. It's not safe for yeah, you. Yeah, I get it. I'm in danger. I get it. Okay, uh, and we're going to get, like, a hot toddy here. <laughs> we wish you luck, but be mindful of the perils that await you. Really? Emma? Well, you saw it here first, folks. An exclusive interview with Emma Ravenhurst. <sighs> Back to you in Studio CG. <sighs> no, thanks a lot. It was really, it was great. Okay. Great interview. Okay. Very yes. insightful. Thank you, Tara, for that insightful interview. Well, I'm sure Tara will have better luck next time. And if by chance you haven't played this game yet, it's great. You need to try it. You can get it today at casualgameguides.com for $2.99 for new customers. All right, guys, we're going to end our show today by spotlighting Luxor Evolved, which, as you can see, is just a fantastic marble popper like no other. Be careful, Zuma, because uh, Luxor is coming to burst your bubble or bust your balls. For a full review of this game, head over to casualgameguides.com to check it out. And as always, please feel free to subscribe and also head over to Facebook to give us a like if you would like to be entered into our monthly game giveaways. Also, follow us on Twitter if you're really serious about saving some money for all of our weekly game deals. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Marisha Ray, and we'll see you next time. Emma's directions back to Blackpool. We're definitely wrong. That was blood. Okay, this is not sanitary. Game.